Felters and welcome. Today we are going to look at this gorgeous little kit from Border Felts on Etsy. The shop owner is Linda and if you want some fantastic gifts you've got to go and have a look. So I'm doing the poppy kit because obviously it's Remembrance Day coming up but there are there's a fox on a box, there's some sheep, a highland cow. Honestly it's really it's a lovely little shop so I will link it down below. But just going through this kit and this kit was only I think it was about 19.99 uh, UK pounds so really good price so you get the brooch um, you get the little um, clip to put on the back of the poppy that you're going to make you get lots of colours you get some glue uh, this is for the inside of the poppies I'll show you that in a bit these are the two boxes not just one two boxes that you get and we're going to felt to do some flat 2d felts to go on the top of them and um, you get a lovely a range of colours as well, which is really good. You get two needles, you get some thread and all the instructions and all the felt. So already you can see there's an awful lot in your kit. So as with all kits, I am not going to show you all of it. <laughs> I will just show you some of it because obviously this is Linda's design and PDF, but there are more than enough pictures to help you get through. So I did the poppy first. We're going to cut out the poppy petals. You've got the templates. It makes it all really easy to do. The poppy took me the longest only because there's sort of eight petals that you have to felt and I wanted to get them quite flat. Um, but it was very, very easy to do, very simple. And you have uh, so many wools and I'll show you the wools I had left over so I could definitely make some more. I even had some of the felt left over so I probably could have made a, a much smaller poppy as well. So you do the leaves and then um, she gives you the middle bit, some thread and she gives you these little, um, they're like stamen, these little wires that go, that's the um, brooch for the back bit but you see these little stamen there, they're so cute and I think the poppy because I've done a couple of flowers in my time, I think the poppy's really good. I went ahead and I did the brooch as well, very quickly. This did not take long. And I, like I said, I've never really 2D felted. It was super quick, super easy. And then you glue it in, pay, in place. So I'm going to show you um, a little bit of one of the boxes. Because obviously, like I said, this is Linda's design. And I don't want to show you exactly how to do everything. So you draw around the lid of the box. These are all the colours that you get. Um, and it's nice because there's lots of different greens, lots of different reds, so you can really get those tones in there. And because I'm not very good at, I'm not artistic really, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm rubbish at drawing. To be led through all the colours um, in the PDF was really, really helpful. And do read them because sometimes I thought, well, I know what colour that is. But um, just read the instructions, it really helps. <laughs> Um, so I'll show you here sort of layering up and there's lots of colours that you put in that I kind of wouldn't have put in naturally because I would have thought they were too bright but it really works in the end and again I guess putting it all together didn't take me that long I am using my needle I do show you her needles in a bit I have to say um, I think hers were at least a 32 or 36 triangular and I found them just a bit too big um, but I placed it all down um, and then felted it roughly in place and then went all the way over it. Took me about half an hour to go all the way over it and get it nice and smooth. Do peel it off your mat um, every now and again because it does get stuck into your mat. Personally, I think you should peel it off, not leave it till the end. But you can see the number of colours I'm putting in this. And it works so well. And then I'll, see here we go, peel it off. It really does get quite stuck. And so support it so that you're not sort of pulling and stretching the um, felt underneath and there we go um, that's it close up you wouldn't think that would work but it looks so good at the end well it does for me I think <laughs> anyway so here we are again just following the instructions and you see how it comes together really nicely and do you see how many greens I've got there so um, yeah it just um, is a really well put together kit I, I cannot say how good these are especially if you need a little gift for somebody but I bought this for myself because I did buy this for my patrons as a prize and I was really jealous I really wanted one and so that's that picture all done and look how good it looks and then on to the next and I'm not going to show you this one because it's obviously all her details but you can see how there's lots of um, 
instructions, lots of photos, so it's really easy to get through. You can pop the lid base out and then you can see exactly how it's going to look, which I didn't realise. So I used my 40 spiral. Um, these are the ones that she supplies, which were I found just a little bit too big. But, and you don't get a mat, but that's fine. Most of us have mats and needles that we really prefer. And here they are all together. Just to show you, I'll show you them again in a minute. Your mat does get covered, so maybe put a cover down. And this is all the walls I had left. I had absolutely loads. So here they are. I think for 19 99 that's amazing. I was going to sell some of them, but I'm not. I'm going to keep them all. <laughs> I really, really like them. But I definitely recommend... Uh, superb little kits, border felts on Etsy, and like I said, fox on a box. How could you not? Thanks for watching. Bye.